India is getting ready for its Gaganyaan mission. Gaganyaan mission entails sending an Indian astronaut into space from Sriharikota on an Indian rocket into orbit and then bringing the astronaut or astronauts safely back to Earth. Till date, only three countries have done this on their own steam. Russia or the Uni USSR, then the United States of America and the last to independently do it on its own steam was China, which was in 2003. Gaganyaan mission is going to cost India upwards of rupees 9,000 crores. What the mission entails is to use the launch vehicle Mark III, a scaled model of which is in, in front of me. And this launch vehicle Mark III has been human rated so that it can have better reliability and accuracy. The launch vehicle Mark III, once it is human rated, can carry astronauts up into space from Sriharikota and then the astronauts can be taken into orbit. The astronauts would be seated in a crew module. Here is a model of the crew module in which the astronauts would be seated and when they are rocketed up, they would be on top of the launch vehicle Mark III. Beyond that, there is the crew escape system to make sure that if things go wrong on the launch pad or little higher up in the, as it ascends, then they can be safely brought back. The crew module, which you see, has been developed by India. It has a very specific shape. The test of the crew module was being done. Re-entry test for a similar vehicle was done by ISRO very successfully. And in the crew module, which India and ISRO they have designed on their own. Three astronauts can be accommodated in the crew module. And the crew module can remain in space for up to one week. Now, whether in the first human space flight, which is likely to happen somewhere after 2024, will India accommodate one, two, or three astronauts is something which is still going to be decided. But a crew module will take Indian astronauts into space and then successfully bring them back. The launch will happen from land in Sriharikota and the astronauts will be brought down into the sea. It could either be the Bay of Bengal or the Arabian Sea. The crew or the astronauts will use special suits, space suits, for Gaganyaan mission and the first launch, the space suits have been imported from Russia. India has not had the time to develop them. So foreign made space suits will be used. These are very important uh, uh, for uh, life support systems. But where ISRO is working very hard is in what is called the environment control and life support system. Initially, the plan was to uh, jointly develop with somebody or buy it from other spacefaring nations which did not work out. So the Indian Space Research Organization is developing the life support system on their own, which is essentially to make sure that astronauts in the crew module in the orbit and when they come back, they can remain alive. Kaganyan is a scientific mission and we have seen the way the India was very excited when in 1984, Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma went into space on a Russian module. And remember he said, when Prime Minister Indira Gandhi asked him, how does India look like? And he said, Sare Jahan Se Achha. So we will have that same glory probably repeated sometime soon, but before Humans are put into the loop. Several tests have to be done sequentially and all of them have to succeed 
before ISRO can put humans in the crew module and send them from Shriharikota. Four astronauts have been selected as the designated astronauts for India. Uh, like other countries, India has also chosen four Indian Air Force test pilots. These are all males because there were no female test pilots available. As and when ISRO says female test pilots are available, they could well be accommodated as astronauts because there is no gender bias. Right now, four male astronauts have been selected. They have undergone training and they are continuing to undergo training. Uh, the medical support for Gaganyaan is coming from France and the astronauts have trained well both in Russia and subsequently they are undergoing training at the Institute for Aerospace Medicine in Bangalore. Uh, once all these tests which are planned by ISRO are conducted successfully, only then can humans be put in the loop. Before that, there are two very specific space flights, identical flights in which robotic instrumented humanoids would be sent into space, which they call Vyomith or Vyomitras. And once they succeed, can astronauts go into space. But the immediate test which is happening is to ensure if something goes wrong, then the crew module can be successfully and safely brought back to Earth so that lives are not lost. Kaganyan is a very important mission for India because India wants to have independent access to space. A country of 1.4 billion cannot be left behind in case someday humans have to leave Earth and inhabit have sustained presence in outer space and then on Moon and Mars. Gaganyaan is a step in that direction. ISRO preparing hard to make sure Gaganyaan succeeds. With the launch vehicle Mark III model with me and a crew module model right behind me, in New Delhi, Palav Bagla for NDTV.